What's good? It's your boy King Kev back with another video, man. No, y'all can tell I cut my hair. Well, let me know what you think. It's kind of grown out a little bit, but it was like a high tape. Stuff like that. This is an 8, although it looks like a 4. It is an 8 on top. I just laid it down, man. But let's get to the video. This video is the video that y'all been waiting for. The low fade. The low fade, man. This song using the, the fast feeds and the magic clips. You know, those are my favorite clippers. Fast feeds specifically, but I fuck with both of them. Um... The video that everyone's been asking me for, man, I finally got it to you guys. You know, hopefully you guys like it. I usually never say this, man, but in any of my videos, I never say it. But if you do enjoy my videos, like, subscribe, and share, man. I appreciate it. I did pass 100 subscribers recently, and hey, I fuck with every single one of you subscribers. I swear to God, I appreciate you guys, and uh, thanks for the support. You know what I mean? Till we get to 200, 300, it's only, we're going slowly but surely. You know what I mean? We're going to get to the top as a fam. But uh, for the meantime, hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Alright, yo, to start off the, the cut, I do throw my two guard on the wall. And I just uh, kind of make my first guideline. We call it removing bulk. And then just kind of clean it up all the way all across. Don't try to go too high. It's a little fade. Then with uh, no guard. You're gonna just kind of make your first guideline. Again, do not go too high because it's a low fade. All right, yo. Then you're gonna open up your clipper up all the way. You're gonna open it up. You're gonna kind of go about an inch. And you're gonna just uh, make that guideline all the way across and make it nice and even because this is the base of your fade. Alright, yo, how come I do the first guy with the wall and then go with the ostrich? This is why. Because with the wall, they're the magic clips. They're, like, super light. So I kind of do everything first with the wall, kind of get it all through, and then I bring my fast beats in. It's just because I have the wall in my hand already, so I might as well make that first guy line. There's nothing, like, specific on why I do it. I just do it, all right? It's nothing crazy. Alright, yo, and then I grab my fast feeds, and then uh, the same steps are exactly the same no matter what fade. Remember, I do open up my lever three times. That's it to get off the first guideline. If you want to go more detail into that, you want to see more, you can check out my high fade video. I kind of explain it more into detail. But it's the exact same steps all the way across. And then I throw my one guard, man, and then I just kind of flick out with the flicky motion. It's going real fast, but I am just flicking out. Uh, just kind of to, to make uh, you, your guiding a little shorter, man. There's not a specific way you're going to exactly open it up. I'm not going to tell you about an inch, quarter inch, because it's just where you see it, man. It's a low fade. Do not go too high. And then I close my clipper all the way, and I kind of just go um, hit the bottom of that guideline so my zero guard can just go through there real smooth and so you don't have no problems. Alright, yo, then I throw my zero guard, my 116 guard, and I uh, I kind of just lever play with it, man. Honestly, I just kind of close it on the bottom and kind of just make my way up to the top. You know, use the corners of the teeth if you got to, but I can't tell you specifically, yo, you're going to go up a quarter of inch here. Nah, man, it's just, you're just going with it, lever play with it, and you should be good.
Then I throw on my half guard on my wall, and I kind of just li never play again, man. It's just really, I can't tell you sp uh, specifically, but I feel like this uh, this guard and this clipper, it just kind of gets what the fast feeds can. Alright yo, I know you guys can see that hard line on top of the fade, this is the way you get it out. Yeah, I throw my three guard on the wall and you kind of go sideways with it. You're going to go sideways with it to like kind of scorch the hair, like a little bit, kind of thin it out just so you can have that nice, super blurry fade all the way up. And if the three doesn't knock it all the way down, then I throw my two guard and I do the exact same thing. Alright yo, and then I bowled out the sides, I bring out my T outliners and I kind of just hit it up a little bit and then I go in with the shaver just to make it nice and clean. Alright yo, the steps that I did on the on the left side did the exact same steps in the back. Remember, I'm just going with the one and then open and then I'm just kind of like, you know, flicking out the way I told you, closing it up, go, hitting the bottom. And then I go in with the zero guard and kind of just mess with it up, level lever play. And then I bring in my wall, one and a half, half guard. And I kind of just detail it up and it should knock it nice and down. And then that hard line on top, you know, with the three to the side sideways and then throw the two guard on there and you should have like a nice clean blurry fade. Alright, yo, just like in any other video, whatever I do on the left side is the same thing on the right side and in the back. They're the exact same steps. So I'm going to speed up this part of the video and enjoy the music a little bit. You know, my producer kills it all the time. Enjoy the music, and if you have any questions of what I did, you can just rewind the video and see how I did on the left side, because these steps are the exact same thing. Alright yo, this is what I do to kind of not have a hard line in the beginning, I just leave all the bulk for the end. So I bring out my balding clippers and kind of knock down all the all the stubbles, and I come in with my shaver, go down first and right back up. Should leave you a nice clean fade, and that should just be the finale, the finisher for your clean uh, blurry fade.
Uh, yo, in this lineup, I did bring out the Slimline Pros, man. I change up what I use all the time. But I did bring out the Slimlines, and I kind of just worked with it a little bit. Try not to push anyone back. You are good. This lineup was actually pretty difficult because it has, like, hangover heads. But just bring out the spritz, spray it up, and you should be good. Whenever you're blading someone up, man, just be careful, you know what I mean? If there's a pimple, stay away, but keep your blade at a 45 degree angle, nothing more, nothing less, to avoid nicks and uh, to avoid any cuts, you know what I mean? You should be good. There you go, man. That concludes it for this video, bro. I appreciate all the support. Like I said, I did pass 100 subscribers. We're like at 118 or something like that. But I do want to increase the channel, show my workout to everyone out there who's trying to get involved in this industry. It's a beautiful industry, but the only way I'll be able to do that is by your help. So like, subscribe, and share, man. I appreciate all you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.